Well, I think because she's so human. And if you know the, the backstory, which none of her com contemporaries, except for maybe her husband, knew, it's so, it's such a tragic story. And, uh, but to the, her friends and to the general public, but it's a very controlled public, as we know, um, she was uh, both loved and, you know, sort of laughed at. And it's heartbreaking. And, uh, and the more you know about the story, the more heartbreaking it is. And uh, by that I mean the illness that caused her to hear something that the world didn't hear. When she sang, she heard one thing and everyone else heard something else. She was a great supporter. Oh my goodness, well she supported, of course she, she founded the Verdi Club and supported many, many other arts clubs and music clubs but created the Verity Club to uh, celebrate all the greats. Back then, they knew what the greats were. That was when Carnegie, well look, we're right at Carnegie Hall, where they put the names of composers around the building. We don't do that now, but they did. So they knew who the greats were, and she knew who to celebrate. So uh, it was pretty impressive, this amount of support that she, during the war, she said, we're fighting for, for our civilization and our right to, you know, celebrate with the arts. So, and she felt that's what kept us human. Uh, and then, of course, by embra embracing the, the, the armed forces and the troops, you know. And, and they just, they took to her in a different way. As well, she's a singer. She has a real voice and a sense of music and, and a sense of uh, good music and good singing and classical singing. And uh, she was just Ricky and the Flash, so she could do rock and roll. And she could do all, all of it. So I think her, sen her particular sensibility, sensibilities are all lined up to be perfect for this. I'm going to tear up in a minute. It's, it's a beautiful love story uh, between the two of them, the three of them. Oh, look, I'm going to go. It's, it's a love story you dream of, you know? Supporting, supporting uh, your partner's weaknesses and, and eccentricities and uh, keeping on going and, and making sure all the dreams come true. I mean, come on, come on. That's a beautiful love story. I, th I think we have Florences. I think we need our hearts to open up more and accept more of the Florences. I think there are Florences out there that we might be a little too harsh on.